LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Boxing Show live. But this ain't boxing, guys. Coach Sheldon Harrison is covering the UFC 200 live. And I just got through watching the main event. Amanda, I mean, Misha, Misha Cupcake Take versus Amanda, the lion is Nunes. Hey, let me tell you something. For all a minute, <laughs> for a minute and 36 seconds of this fight, this fight was entertaining. Listen. Misha Tate had no answer for Amanda Nunez. You can tell Nunez was the bigger, stronger, faster opponent. And Nunez kept Misha Tate at bay early with the jab. Misha Tate tried these takedowns. Amanda Nunez's takedown defense was flawless. And then she stunned Misha Tate. She hit Misha Tate with a brutal, a brutal right hand. Misha Tate was all but out of the fight after that right hand, and that's just the way that is. And then, you know what? She hit Misha Tate again. Misha Tate fell. And she jumped. She pounced on top of Misha Tate. I'm talking about pounced on top of her like a panther. And she grabbed a hold of the neck. Misha Tate could do nothing to defend the rear naked choke. And this was a brutal rear naked choke. And Misha Tate had no other choice but to tap out. Now, I'm going to tell you something. And I've been trying to tell you people this. I've been trying to tell y'all this for a long time. Now watch. Amanda Nunes is going to get screwed just like Holly Holm did. And I'm going to tell you why. Amanda Nunes and girls like Holly Holm, they don't fit the look. They don't fit that look. They don't fit that superstar look. Even though I see and you see that Amanda Nunes had a great performance and I knew it was a matter of time before Misha Tate got beat. Trust me. <laughs> because I already told you, if Ronda Rousey come back, and if Ronda Rousey does return, Ronda Rousey can defeat both of these two women. People, that's just how it is. Now, do I want to see a, Rowdy, a Rousey versus Nunez fight? Absolutely, okay? I didn't want to see Rousey versus Misha Tate anymore because I knew who would win. Ronda Rousey would win that fight easy against Misha Tate because Ronda Rousey knows how to beat Misha Tate. Holly Holm, Holly Holm is out of the picture, y'all. Y'all can forget about Holly Holm coming back, getting a rematch. Doing, look, she's done. Okay? In the UFC, Holly Holm's big chances are done. She's going to have to work real hard to work herself back up that ladder. Misha Tate, nah, Misha Tate could probably get two, one or two fights, and she'll be right back in the mix for a title shot again. Amanda Nunes, she better watch her back. Because she's got the target on her back. And it ain't the target from her opponents. No, 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 no. It's the target from the US, the UFC itself. I'm telling y'all, Amanda Nunes is going to get screwed. She will get screwed. Okay? I guarantee if she fights Ronda Rousey, if the fight is close, she's not, she not going to win a decision against Ronda Rousey. Just not going to happen. Okay? And they're going to do everything. They're going to treat her like they treated Holly Holm. Watch what I tell you. The interviews... Those are going to be non-existent. And people are going to have to complain like we complained about Holly Holm not getting interviews. And finally, Sports Center finally talked to her, you know. But that's after about a 1,000 people complain. And, and, and you'll see. You'll see. They're not going to publicize it because Dana White, Misha Tate is Dana White's golden girl. And watch the press conference and you will see Dana White's face. You're going to see how his face looks. You're going to see his facial expression because he wasn't too... Everybody was pretty much prepping Misha Tate to win. Just like everybody was prepping Ronda Rousey to beat Holly Holm and the unthinkable happened. Amanda Nunes won this fight, y'all. Learn to love it. Okay, Amanda Nunes right now is here to stay. If she gets defeated, she's going to get pushed to the back burner just like Holly Holm did. People, it's going to happen. It is going to happen. I, I'm glad Amanda Nunes won because you know what? I'm so sick and tired of the UFC and Dana White pushing certain fighters to the forefront i'm sick and tired of them pushing these certain fighters man certain fighters and you got other fighters you know you definitely got other fighters that's down the list man who should be pushed a whole lot harder but they don't do it because they're not their marketable these are not the fighters that you can put them into a naked advertisement and make a lot of extra money off these fighters nah these are girls that are in the game and they fight because they love the sport they're not running around here making a bunch of, you know, naked magazine ads and all this hot crap. And then, you know what, the even more disrespect that Chris Cyborg gets, I mean, people, it's evident. 
You guys watch what I say. You look at Dana White's face. Watch his face at the post-fight press conference, and I guarantee you the look is going to say it all. You see, you saw the look on his face when Holly Holm beat Ronda Rousey. Oh, he was pissed about that. Okay? Now, he was extra elated that Holly Holm was defeated by Misha Tate because Holly Holm is not very marketable. I mean, I'm just being honest. Holly Holm is a good fighter, but she's not marketable. You take Misha Tate. Misha Tate is marketable. I mean, you know, he can make money off Misha Tate from commercial ads, magazine ads. I mean, and you can promote Misha Tate because she's quote-unquote supposed to be like a good-looking female athlete. Supposed to be. Okay? Watch. Watch. I'm telling y'all, and I'm going to say this for the thousandth time. Congratulations to Amanda Nunes. I'm glad she won. But here come the BS and all the stuff that they're going to try to do to her now. Now they're going to blackball Amanda Nunes. The opportunities are going to go down the drain. They're going to try to push her. They're going to try to downplay her victory. Is what they're going to try to do. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. Congratulations, Lioness. Woo!